Hey folks, welcome back to Kraken Packs, and today we're opening not one, not two, not three, but four Korean Cybernetic Revolution boxes for my homie Crispy Cards. Let's do this. Let's get Kraken Packs. All right, so Cybernetic Revolution is one of, if not the best, GX sets. Most memorable, most nostalgic, and honestly, one of the best uh, in terms of financial value as well. Uh, the ultimate rares, including Cyber In Dragon, Cyber Twin Dragon, Cyber Dragon, you have Winged Karibo. In English, these are hundreds and hundreds of dollars. In Korean, the price range from about $20 to $70, depending on what hit you have and what the market looks like at the moment. Some of those uh, can go for a pretty good penny, and, and some people even like to grade some of the Korean cards. I know all the leaders out there, <laughs> grade Korean cards. Great, whatever you like. So the people that you know open Korean packs just really enjoy the cards, and they enjoy that they can get something that they really love and that's nostalgic to them for an affordable price. So, speaking of affordable prices and getting things that you like, everyone likes free. So check this out. Go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment below telling me what your favorite GX box is, and I'll enter you into the monthly giveaway. This month is a Dark Magician Girl Toon Dark Magician Girl slab. If you're entering in the future, we do a monthly giveaway every month, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel to be entered into that. Without further ado, Cybernetic Revolution. Let's go. Let's make this happen. For my boy, Crispy Cards. You can check him out here on Instagram. And not only is he giving us something fun and enjoyable to open, he's also helping us on our quest to open every single box in Japanese, Korean, English, and English first edition. <laughs> it's its own category, right? I know, I know, it's crazy. So, we're one step closer, and I believe Crispy wants to build a master set of, uh, or a play set of his own here. I was originally doing that, uh, just like just like I do with LOB or Furrow Servant or any of the other original sets. I was really do doing that with the GX monsters as well, but it just became very difficult and just and, and, and tedious with all the different versions and ultimate rares and hobby and non-hobby, this and that. But building one set would be very nice. That's definitely achievable, especially for the Korean ones here. They're cheap. Gyroids, all the gyroids, euroids. <laughs> and we get our first rare there, which by the way, remember, not every not every pack has a rare when it comes to Koreans. Our ratios are the same, right? So we're getting a total of two ultimates per box. We're getting one ultra. Sometimes you'll get two. Usually not supposed to, but sometimes it can happen. And then you're getting, you know, your rares and your four supers. But remember, the Korean ones, specifically the vintage sets like this, there's a chance to pull only commons, which we will see here in a little bit. Another thing to note is sometimes the hollows are kind of clumped together, like in the middle or towards the back or even the front. When, when there's a secret rare, it can offset it, but sometimes it's like you'll go a little while without hitting any hollows. And then it's like boom, 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 hollow, hollow, hollow. So sometimes I'll shuffle it. If, if we feel like things are getting a little too clumped, we'll maybe do that, but I don't know. I think we'll be all right. I know especially those first 11 sets are really bad with that, but see, there's an example of, you know, having nothing but commons. So it does happen. All right, get some salutes. Ooh, Elemental Hero Bubble Man is our first notable, uh, not to downplay the other ones, but our first notable hit here. Him as an ultimate rare, I think is maybe, what? Yeah, in English is around $50, but that's, I mean, graded. Things can get a little wild if you start grading some of those. Cybernetic Revolution Box is in English around four to $5,000 as of August. 2022 <laughs> August 2020 would be a little bit different in price but yeah 2022 so you have them you know you have those sealed boxes and that there were something I did have one box of cybernetic revolution but as as I did with enemy of justice had an entire case worth of tactical evolution uh, but I ended up selling a lot of my GX first edition boxes to reallocate that money to original dual monsters just because that's more what I'm nostalgic for Oh, that's actually a really cool rare there. And uh, I always think about 
Where was she at? She, oh, I thought she was rare. The magician twins there. One of them, you gain life points, and, and her, you lose, uh, your opponent loses life points every turn. It's like a burn. I always think of World Tournament 2006, which is one of my all-time favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! handheld games. Tadpole. Tadpole in the hole. It's for the Game Boy Advance, which we did even do a modded uh, Game Boy... The Crack and Packs Game Boy, just to check out the game on and be able to play wherever I want. Because, I don't know, I, something about... Playing Game Boy games on your phone is just completely different than having a aluminum shell, custom IPS screen, beautiful Game Boy. I just like the clickiness, you know? So, that's probably my favorite GX related thing. Other than maybe like Shadows Infinity, it's probably that, that game. And then there's, you know, Stairway to the Destined Duel and all that stuff is also a really fun game. But I feel like that one in particular is what kind of honed in on the formula that they had for the, the handheld games moving forward. Ooh, another Bubble Man in the building. Very nice. Very, very nice. Funny enough with Bubble Man, I I ended up at one point getting a Bubble Man Ultimate Rare. I kid you not, straight straight from a bulk collection. There was an ulti. It was first edition. I just sent it off for grading recently. But it was just starting... To, ooh, Power Bond! See, this... There was a first turn kill deck combo that you could make with Cybernetic or with the cards in Cybernetic Revolution, the Cyber Dragons, in that World Tournament 2006 game. Of course, you could do it in real life too, but man, I just loved whooping people crazy with Power Bond. You could bring in Cyberstein if you mess with the ban list a little bit, you know? Um, great, great card. Where is the sleeves? We gotta get that sleeved up immediately for my boy Crispy. We gotta keep his cards crispy. There we go, Power Bond. So again, so Crispy's trying to do one of each card in the set to complete a set. Just one full set, right? Unlike the master set things that I do. Because I'm... I hate myself. I don't know why <laughs> that I do those. It's such a pain in the butt. But I want to make sure that he gets them nice and neat. And that, of course, I'm saying this because now we don't want to hit another power bond. Power bond would be an awesome hit normally. But moving forward, we want to try to pull each ultra rare. So hopefully, four boxes we can get a set. It usually, with the, with the play sets... Well, with the master sets, it took me around 20 to 30 boxes because of secret rares. With GX, I'm not sure. Maybe it would only take like 15 or so. I guess you're chasing the alties too. So I don't know if that would take more or less. The problem is with the Korean packs with the secret ones, it can be very difficult to find specific secrets. One will be shorter print than the other. So Dark Magician Girl, for example, is, is a lot less likely than uh, Diffusion Wave Motion, is that what that one's called? I was confused with the other MFC card. So, yeah, it can be a pain in the butt. That's why I gave up. I was trying to do it with Tactical Evolution in this one first, but it just it just proved to be too, way too difficult. As we end the box here, we're probably about to, oh, Cyber Dragon Ultimate Rare. Let's go, dude. Congratulations, Crispy. That is a top ultimate hit. Immediately, and yoink. This first box is a really good one. I mean, looks great too. A very pretty card. Yeah, this first box is already doing really, really incredible. For just being right off the cusp. Our first box out of the four. All right, all right. I think there's a couple, there's a couple rares and commons that in the English version are actually worth something right now. That might have been one of them. The DD there. We'll see. We also have some of the... Oh, Dragon Mirror. That's a great common. See, that was one that actually was worth something for a little while there. But... Boop, 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 boop. Oh! Elemental Hero Bubble Man Ultimate Rare! Super nice! Let's go, man! Okay, so this box is great. I mean, most of the Ultimate Rares in this set are really incredible. Um, but you just got two of the best ones. So we're going to walk away with at least eight ultimates and hopefully, you know, you get a double or something, you'll be able to recoup some money. Oh, Cyber Twin Dragon. Very nice super. He's only a super in this set. I feel like they did him dirty. He should have been an ultra. Is, uh, yeah, normal Cyber Dragon's also uh, super rare. So super sad. Sorry. Tadpole. 
And see, this is what I'm talking about. So the supers are clumped together. I feel like that's what it normally is. The supers are just kind of all stuck together. As we kill the last three packs here into our mountain of trash on the right. Oh, elite goblin attack force. Super sick. That was a... Uh, I took a little bit of a break there from Yu-Gi-Oh! after Ancient Sanctuary when the movie was coming out. And I remember, you know... Oh, did we get... No, we got four supers. It's like, factory error? It happens sometimes. It happens. I've seen it. I've seen it. We actually had an entire carton, which is what the Koreans call the cases. 40 boxes. Every single box of LOB was the factory error. There was one extra ultra. I still have a couple boxes left because I thought it was just the coolest thing ever. That the whole carton was factory error. I don't... It's interesting how that must happen. All right, we're on to the next box here. Box two, which I think you can see right there. There we go. Box two. Cybernetic. Revolution. Ooh, and a Cyber End Dragon to start off the box. That is a great way to start off any booster box. There's a Cyber End. Let's go, dude. Crispy, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the stars are aligning here. You're gonna get all the cards that you need. I'm so curious to see what our next ultra is. Let me move, let me move the rares out of the way real quick too. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yo, yo, yo. All right, there we go. The rares, what's in the next pack? Start to pick up the pace a little bit too. Now that we know what our set looks like. I, I, I do enjoy, how is this one, how is this not part of the Summon Skull Archetype. Two, Mad Crab. Kraken can get behind that. Battery Man C, I also think of the 2006 thing. And then we also have Frog Support. Cybernetic Revolution is just the best GX set, I'm telling you. I honestly don't know. Chaz Infinity, I like a lot. I don't know if it's my favorite, though. Cybernetic Revolution probably is the best one. Just, I, it, it's very difficult to beat beat cyber dragons i'm trying to go through them let's think um so soul of the duelist there's some people who are like that's not a gx set well it started to introduce gx monsters so i started thinking there flaming eternity Act flaming eternity is pretty cool is that um hmm yeah no I, I think cybernetic revolution uh elemental energy is a close is a close one it's a close second as well Ooh, all commons. It's all right. Yeah, Elemental Energy is a, a, actually an incredible set. The purple box, as people, on, my friends on whatnot that are watching, hashtag purple box below in the comments. Yeah, purple box is a great one. Poison Draw Frog. And let's go. We've got... we got Bubble Man, but just the bubbles. No man, just bubbles. Let's clean up some trash here in a second. Croaking frogs of destiny. Oh my gosh. All this trash. Guys, trash is a real, it's a real problem. Just opened this on the channel too. Premium pack four, so check out that video. It's kind of a depressing video. A little, a little depressing, just don't put that out there, but we had to, we had to open it for the sake of completing all the boxes. Oh, Transcendent Wings. That's a nice card. It always looks like Pegasus' wife, but I don't know if it's Pegasus' wife. Poison Draw Frog. System down. System up and down. That's what I always think of. Oh. Oh, yeah, and then the, the train. All the roids. Trade roids, steroids, bear roids, whatever. Drill roids. Jelly Bean Man. That's... You need that as an ultimate rare. Come on, guys. Free my dude, Jellybean Man. Some Elemental Heroes switch support. Does every set, once they introduce Elemental Heroes in the Lost Millennium, does every set have Elemental Heroes support for the entirety of GX? Probably, right? Probably. Magma Neos is a great one. Pulled that Untactical Evolution, which you can see me opening on the channel. Go so check the videos. It should be a Tactical Evolution. Magma Neos. Spoiler alert, but well, maybe I pulled the ghost here and I didn't mention that. Oh, oh, Rainbow Dragon, buddy. Let's keep on rolling here. No, no other ulties yet. Okay, so no other ulties. 
They sank like anchors to the bottom of the Kraken Seas here. Bottom of those packs. Just bubbles, no man. All bubbles. No oh, man. Dragon mirrors. Normal mirrors. All black mirrors. All these mirrors. Pot of generosity, correct? Is that right? Pot of generosity, that one. The blue. The lady pot of greed. With jelly bean. Unlike Pot of Greed, I actually can't remember. Is it Prosperity? I don't remember which one that is now. No one knows what they do. No one knows what any of the pot cards does. The world may never know. Tadpoles and... Only about six packs left. System down. Bicycles. Literally just getting all the weird stuff at this point. But again, oh, there's our first super. Super scooper. One of the uh, machine mech cards that are in there. Which means they're probably gonna hit that clump of supers. I don't know why, they should do a better job of, oh no, yeah, see, it doesn't always happen, see? Told you, it doesn't always happen. The Korean cards will batch together like that. I'm pulling, going through 40 packs with the same ratios, it's like, ugh, just takes forever, doesn't it? Tadpole, oh, ooh, Elite Goblin Attack Force. I remember what I was gonna say about him. I took a break from playing, and when I came back, you know, Goblin Attack Force was one of the best just immediate attack monsters. So the fact that they had Elite Goblin Attack Force, he was one of the only cards I bought when I kind of came back during that window of GX. So we're gonna hit an ulti. Ooh, Cybernetic Magician. What is Cybernetic, did he work with the Cyber Dragon combos at all? Because I don't remember, I never really played him when I was kicking ass and taking names on uh, my Game Boy there. It's time to kick ass and shoot bubblegum. And I'm all out of gum. Oh, but I'm not all out of ultimate rares. That actually looks awesome. It looks like a, like a, uh, I don't know, like one of those like silver badges or something. The way that this ultimate looks is incredible. Woo. Like, looking at it on the screen here, got double vision. <laughs> uh, Miracle Fusion, I think, right? Yeah, Miracle Fusion. Incredible card, very expensive in English. So, I mean, anything in this set. Oh, I th we got a second ulti. You see, that's the weird thing, right? We don't want a second, we don't want a second ulti of that. Which is weird to think we don't want. I mean, Crispy would still take it, but we want to try to complete the set. So we still need like, Skyscrapers and oh, Power Bond Ultimate Rare, very awesome. One of the best magic cards in the set, in general, one of the best magic cards. Whew. Okay, so we are. Yeah, you got the Superman, you've got you got the Ultra, and you've got the Ultimate. So let's let's see our last pack here. The one more Super. That is biggest hit. Ghost from the past three. Where are you at, Jelly Bean Man? I'm saying last two boxes. See, if I had to pick a box, I feel like this one would be my box. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see what's in the box. I feel like that's the lucky one. First one was pretty lucky too. Transcendent wings. So, on um, whatnot, we actually timed to see how fast I could rip a booster box of GX. I'm not gonna, unless they're my cards or uh, the Korean boxes. Unless they're mine, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna attempt that feat. We got down to like three minutes with the timer going, but uh, I was getting a little reckless with it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna bend anybody's cards here, so. Don't worry, here's a safe here, Crispy. Some people, let me know in the comments below if you've ever had trouble. Hey, Cyber End Dragon Ultra, that's a dupe, right? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a dupe. All right, so, gonna need to buy some more boxes to get the other Ultras. Um, let me know if, how, how much you struggle with OCG packs, if you've ever opened these before. We were having a long, heated discussion. One of the only people I've ever met is Mr. Phil Ruxton himself. He, he knew how to open it, and the, the secret to it is, go up the bum. You gotta put one, one thumb flat down, and then you, boom, with the other finger. Pop it, shred it, and move on. Oh, stacking packs here. Go ahead and move that. As we are more than halfway there. Boink. Mad lobsters. Why don't they have any like joyful lobsters, you know? 
Can you have like a fun, loving lobster? It's like a nice, a nice, fair, fair, mild-mannered lobster. Is, is that too much to ask for? I hope that somebody clips that out of context. We'll see. Maybe I could do like a little short remix. All right, more speed roids as we get through the thick of it here. First ultra, nope. Pot of whatever, generosity, prosperity. I, I feel like it's prosperity, right? Please correct me below. I care how long in the future it is you've seen this video. My oh, man, I need to, I need to, I need to, you know, research pots. I need to get better at my pot names. I need to do more pot. That's all I'm saying. Swoop. Licky boy. Looks like lick a tongue, but it's a, uh, it's a frog. It's a poison draw frog. All right, so we're more than halfway through this booster box, which means you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time to, 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 to pull some ultimate rares from my boy Crispy. Crispy, go. As I add to my pile of trash here. Oh yeah, I forgot that was an infusion substitute. See, infusion substitute was also one of those commons I was talking about that had some good monies in it. We also have the yellow guy. So what to call him? There's Blue Man, Red Man from Magician's Force, like the original Union monsters. Or no, they're not the original. No, they are. Right? From AS oh no, those are from AST. I'm thinking of the, uh, it's like the Fire Homie and the, the the Blue, the Water Homie from MFC, which were I think those were the first Union monsters, right? And then they had Blue Man and Red Man. I can't Is there another one in AST? I'm talking about. You'll know when I when I pull it. You don't know what I'm talking about here. It's like the guy that's riding the paper airplane. Yeah, him. There's a blue one and the red one. No, I guess they're just normal monsters, right? Yeah, they're just normal monsters. Did they ever have like a card or anything uh, to like explain and, and sh kind of show what they did? So I've never seen a deck or anything that used that. So I don't know. What is, what is your purpose? Crispy, your purpose right now is to pull Every card that you need for this set, which probably with four boxes might not be enough. But we'll see. Oh my gosh, nothing but trains. That one was a kid, I love some trains. <laughs> oh, sorry, nothing magician. Okay, well now you might have to start doing play sets because you got three of your supers. But it makes sense, right? You're gonna get four per box. You're gonna fill up on supers before you even get to your dessert, man. Oh, another cyber dragon sleeve for you. And a sleeve for you. All right, we're about to just hit nothing but fire here at the end. Okay, so ultimates, we're getting close. Mad Lobster ultimate rare, let's go. Angry as shit, Lobster Man. That's what I want. Super pissed, Lobster Man. Oh, shoot, was it like raising, oh my gosh. I have to, I'll have to look it up. Not the mention wall. Magical explosion? Maybe? Is that it? One of those weird, odd, like kind of odd off traps. No, it's not. What is this? You guys are like, yeah, I was right. Ah, it's rising energy. I knew it. I knew it. Rising energy ultimate rare. We'll take that. We'll take that. Gosh, even in English, that card is only like $5. So can't be too good of a hit. Oh, UFO Roid. We have not pulled him yet, so that's a good super to have. Super duper super. Super awesome card. What is it from a bridge? Super awesome special card? That's what it is. Super awesome special card. Oh, and there we go. We have magical explosion. And an ulti. This one has like a checkered pattern on it. Super cool. All right, so good. Not insane hits, but we need those to complete the set. And remember, that's what we're chasing here to see if we can finish that set. We need the cyber twin and the cyber in. All right, are those weakness? And then skyscraper. Okay, tight. Let's do a little quick recap. See where we're at as we start to get into this last box here. All right, Bubble Man's. You can go over here. You're not as special now that we have even bigger hits. All right, so ultimate rare wise, we have Rising Energy, Magical Explosion, Power Bond, uh, Miracle Fusion, Elements of Hero, Bubble Man, and Cyber Dragon. So the big hits that we could really shoot for here, as we're kind of getting into this last box, the final quarter, 
Again, this is, I think this will be the lucky box. We'll see. I just gotta use my x-ray vision to see if the good cards are in there. So, as we get into this last box, shoo, pull, did we pull one in every single box? No, but we pulled one in the last box. Interesting, okay, so we need to hit either that card as an ultimate rare or Cyber Twin. Those would be the other big ones. I think, oh, Wing Kribo. Wing Kribo would be another big one. But I mean, it's Cybernetic Revolution. Get lost, Kribo. Sorry, buddy. I can hear his voice in my head. Little Kribo voice. Plop. Oh my gosh. There's so much trash, folks. It's like towering over. We should have like a Yu-Gi-Oh! Recycling Redemption. Kind of thingy where like you just you know we have like normal recycling but i want to get awarded in Yu-Gi-Oh cards for recycling it's literally anyone's dream to be able to just be paid in Yu-Gi-Oh cards looking at you mo all right let's keep rolling here you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these up so that it's not just a million common cards because it seems like either everything is going to be in the middle or, or the back for whatever reason. I think it kind of changes per batch. Sometimes, again, it'll be up front or in the middle. Uh, but I don't know. Let's fix it up. Tadpoles. No holes. Only tadpoles. More roids. Oh, I like how they just called them roids. Oh, that's a, that's a Kraken roid. Oh, okay. Jelly bean roid. Jelly roid. Best blue GX box, at least, right? Better than Tactical Evolution? Probably. I didn't have a Ghost Rare, though. You know, that was the only thing we're missing was, was a sweet, sweet Ghost Rare. Imagine Cyber Dragon, like a Cyber End Dragon. Oh, there's Twin as a super. Like, even with uh, Ghost from the Past, too, like, we got Cyber Dragon, but Cyber End would have been a lot cooler, in my opinion. Ooh. Oh, is this, like, the BB or... I can't remember, it's like BS, BES cards. I think that's what it is here. The BES. I'm looking at you, Pax. It's gonna be in here. Hmm, let's see. Karu. Oh, UFO Roid! Ultimate rare. Let's go. Hey, hey. All right, so one, two. That's where we're at right now. We're getting close, man. We're getting close. Let's see. I think there's still... Isn't there another... There's another Ultra that we haven't pulled as well. So this could go either way. Don't think we're... Oh! Wing Karibo level 10 ultimate rare. You got the most expensive ultimate rare, at least raw, in the entire set, man. In the English one. So for this... Wow, that looks great as an ulti too. You can't, I don't think you can see it on camera because the light's gonna blind it out, but. Like the patterning underneath. God, he looks like a straight warrior. He's like a gladiator. Oh, you're gonna still need a couple more boxes, man. You gotta get the other, the other, uh, there's goblin attack force. You gotta get the other cyber dragons. And there's still, uh, dude, there's like, you're probably gonna need at least I don't know, man. You might need like six more boxes if you're lucky. See, the problem is like, the pro once you start getting more and more of what you want, the chances that you pull a duplicate is just substantially higher every time. So that's where, when I was completing the sets, I was running into that problem of the secret rares. So the alternative would be, you could buy the singles. The problem is finding somebody that has, you know, those cards currently in stock. That's also the hard one. That has them for sale. Because a lot of Korean people, or uh, Korean collectors will just, I mean, they don't, a lot of people don't think that Korean cards don't sell, which <laughs> if you're going on one of the marketplaces, you're going to realize that they do sell. But, you know, a lot of people that just buy a couple boxes, they usually just hold the cards because they don't, that one, they wanted them just for nostalgia to break and rip, which is really fun. But also they don't end up selling them. So it was even difficult with me with some of the stuff that I needed to do to complete those sets but i wish you the best of luck this will be an incredible one to see complete maybe even 
I don't know, man. Maybe you'll get the bug and you'll complete the play sets. I was doing it for a while, and then I just realized I needed to focus on dual monsters first. What, what, do you, what does the cracking crew think? You guys think I should do complete master sets of GX? I would definitely do a cybernetic revolution one once I get dual monsters done. And that's the other thing. I'm trying to figure out my goals with the collection once I have that done, which is a, a huge stretch. Because <laughs> it's pretty much going to be the Korean stuff is complete and unlimited. First edition Korean cards are unbelievably rare like mfc that kind of stuff there isn't even pictures of a first ed korean legend of blue eyes box online even in korean like or even on korea like on their websites and platforms i've talked to a lot of friends there isn't one okay i've seen one one the person didn't want me to share it and i've seen one mfc first edition box I've seen a dark beginning one, and then beyond that, that's it. I've never seen first edition ones, and that was only until very recently that we were able to find that box, the MFC one. They don't usually, it usually does not happen. It's very difficult to find. So doing a first edition Korean set might be ridiculous. I, I don't know. Master set. Master set would be very difficult. But I think in the end what I'm going to do is maybe like legendary collections, Kaiba, Yugi, and Joey, that might be next, so we'll see. As we wrap up this box for my boy Crispy Cards. Again, one more shout out to you. Fusion Recovery. Did we pull the Ultra? I think we did pull the Ultra, right? There might be another Super lurking around in here. Got the Plasma Gun. Shot. The Energy Gun. I don't, I don't remember what that card's actually called in English, this one. Boink. Last two packs. Let's go, man. Packs of Destiny, Factory Air, something crazy. Let's see, last pack magic for crispy cards. Cyber and Dragon Ultimate and... Ah, Transcendent Troll right there. Still a beautiful card. That and Ultimate Rare would look really nice. But to recap, even though I don't usually recap in the end because of spoilers. There we go. Two, four, six, eight... You're on your way, man. That's everything. And best of luck to you. Let me know how the sets are going. And let me know which one you're going to tackle next. Because completing sets is very addictive. Until then, folks. If you would like to see anything broken on the channel, hit me up. Place an order. We'll get it cracked live on Cracking Packs. And I will see you next time.